it's Coco for another video and I'm just frustrated because so much drama been going on lately like <sighs> past 48 hours I've had to put my neighbor in jail because he literally almost tried to assault my husband with a bat and then I had car trouble I had to buy a whole new battery because my car kept dying on me so I just figured I would make another video to let some steam off I guess I'm just like frustrated right now like I don't even feel safe here anymore like I really want to move because basically the cops told us that there's nothing they can do about it and if they have to come to our residence again regarding this neighbor situation they were going to arrest my husband and the neighbor in question which I don't feel like that's fair because this man harasses us like cusses at us in front of our children we don't bother this man. It's frustrated when somebody doesn't believe you, but of course, they're police, so. I don't like cops, but I called the cops that day because he tried to solve my husband with a bat. Out of the blue, he's working on the car and the guy just tried to rush him. <clears throat> he basically said, I could splatter your brains across this concrete right now. So I'm explaining it to the cop, like, but I don't, I don't get it. Like, why don't you, why can't, is there something we can do, you could do? And he basically told me, no, um, do we have any proof? And he needed the bat. He questioned a couple of my neighbors, some people that aren't even my neighbors. Um, mind you, everybody in my whole entire area speaks Spanish except for probably me and another neighbor that just so happens to be one of my close friends but she does speak Spanish and she understands it so I was I was really pissed because the simple fact that the guy said we were racist how do you figure we're racist against Mexican people when all of our kids are half Mexican my husband's Mexican he has an African American wife why would why would we say any racist comments to them? And and regardless of okay, let's just hypothetically say somebody says something racist. Does that give anybody any right to pick up a bat and try to come up behind them when number one the person didn't even know they were there. Number two, he crept up on them. That gives them no right. None. So I'm like, look, officer, I don't want to go to jail. But for one, I have kids I need to raise. For two, I don't need to feel threatened when I walk outside my door. This is supposed to be our home. This is where we should feel comfortable. So what do you think you should need to do about this situation? He basically told me he thought it was coming from both sides. And that if he had to come back... Um, to our residence or to our little complex that he was going to take both uh, my husband and my neighbor to jail. He said he will find a way. He doesn't care if it's false information or not. He was going to find a way to put us in jail. Like, <clears throat> so basically you're just going to take his word for it? Mind you, this cop is a Mexican-American. So you're going to take his word for it and just... We, we're just liars or whatnot. Like, aren't you supposed to get both sides and then figure out what's the truth or whatever? Try to find the bat, try to get some witnesses. It was just crazy. Like, so I pulled out my camera and I started recording this officer because I was like, look, what are we supposed to do if this man tries to threaten us again? Because I'm pulling out my phone and I'm recording everything, everything. Because I don't think it's right that 
he just basically threatened us and said, hey, if you call us one more time, everybody's going to jail. Like, how do you figure that? So if we're getting assaulted, we're not supposed to call you guys. Aren't you supposed to be there to serve and protect? If not, what are you here for? If everybody can just take matters into their own hands, we wouldn't need police officers. So it's just, it's just like a whole bunch of bull, you know. So <clears throat> I'm currently looking for another place to stay because I'm not going to be here too much longer. And it's frustrating. There was one cop that was really cool, and then the other cop that was just, I don't know. He was trying to imply that, oh, your husband's no angel. I, I never said he was, but what does that have to do with, oh, there's two types of Mexicans. That's what he said. There's two types of Mexicans, and you know that. And what two types are those? Because last time I checked, he's Mexican. So why would he want to talk about another Mexican? He said, you know what? You know what I mean. Your husband's from America and he's not. And your point is? Because really, I don't see the point. And it makes no sense for him to say a racist slur when he has a African-American wife and biracial kids. Why would he do that? Basically, this cop basically had no, no kind, he was of no help, basically. So, we're just stuck here, like, if something goes down and we call for help, they're going to arrest us all, because he said it was inciting a riot or inciting a fight. So, I was like, okay, then I'll just pull out my camera and record everything. That way, it'll hold up in court. Nobody's going to get sued unless I, you know, I don't know what else to say. I, ca I can't see myself sitting there holding a camera while somebody's attacking my husband. I just can't see that. But what am I supposed to do? Nobody is going to believe us. And the way this is going, everybody over here sticks to their own. And we're just by ourselves. Uh, except for one other um my friend who is my neighbor across the way that's it so it's, I don't know what is wrong with this man he's obviously battling a mental illness or something I don't know but um, after that I just, found, I just thought it was a little weird that my car started acting up we've had this car for 8 months never nothing wrong then all of a sudden, my husband's working under the car, under the hood or whatnot. And the man walks up on uh, up on him with a bat, um, threatening his life and telling him he's going to splatter his brains everywhere. And I'm like, paranoid. Like, did this guy do something to our car? Did he mess with it? Like, is he trying to hurt us? I'm just like, I don't know. I just feel like nobody out here is has our back. Like, yeah, we had some family members and friends that came and to like support us after that. But I just feel like we're all alone over here. Basically, it's everybody for themselves. So I'm like, you know what? I'm teaching my kids Spanish. We're gonna all learn Spanish because this is ridiculous. I want to know what's going on. I need to know because I don't need no surprises nobody trying to jump on me assault with a deadly weapon hello I'm like go and check that person's car because his car he got a he got a bat in there go and check it I don't know what they found but they arrested the man so obviously they found something so I basically was like well what's gonna happen if he comes back, if he gets out of jail, when we know he's going to get out of jail, what's going to happen when he does? If he tries to retaliate, what are we supposed to do when you just said not to call you? He basically said, oh, you need to take that up with your, with your manager. <laughs> Thank you.
this happening? Next time I'm going to take both of you guys down. Simple as that. Yeah, I'm going to do it for, for you guys to search your jeans and uh, finding uh, uh, fighting or whatever. I'll find a reason. Wow. Did you just say you'll find a reason? Yeah, I'll find a reason. What if we, what if he, that, what if he, sound fair. Oh my God. No, it doesn't. It doesn't because you can't prove who the if aggressor he, is. If he's threatening us, it's okay for him to threaten us? Yes. 